In this video, we will learn about the tilt sensor in the LEGO WeDo 2.0 core set. The tilt sensor can be identified by the arrows that are found on the side of the sensor. The tilt sensor acts like your sense of balance, okay? It can detect if it's been moved or tilted in several directions, up and down, left and right, okay? To use the tilt sensor, you simply attach the sensor cable to the smart hub and then pair the smart hub with your LEGO We Do 2.0 app. This airplane has the tilt sensor in its tail, and I'll use it for this demonstration. The output from the tilt sensor can be seen in the lower right-hand corner of the app. When the tilt sensor in the airplane is level, it gives a reading of zero. If the airplane is tilted down, then the output from the tilt sensor is three. If I tip the airplane up, the output from the tilt sensor is nine. If I tilt it to the sides, it is five and seven. We can use the tilt sensor programming block to achieve a more sophisticated code. Let's start with the simplest code that just tells the motor to spin forever. If instead we wanted to wait until the tilt sensor detects something, we can insert the yellow hourglass symbol into our code. We need to discard the blue box because we don't want to wait for a length of time like one second. Instead, we want to wait for readout from the tilt sensor. So let's grab our tilt sensor and insert that below the hourglass. Now, if we tap on the tilt sensor, it will cycle through several different options. Tilt that way, so it'll wait until the tilt sensor tilts that way. Wait until it tilts this way. Wait until it tilts up. Wait until it tilts down. Or this one, where it takes a reading from the tilt sensor as um, the, the output numbers that we talked about earlier, zero, three, five, seven, and nine. We can use this last option to create a code that sends messages. We start by grabbing the envelope and placing that by our green start arrow. We don't wanna just send a text message, so we're gonna remove this blue box that has the letters A, B, C, and instead, we're gonna send the readout from the tilt sensor. So we'll need to tap several times until we get to that version of the tilt sensor. And we don't wanna just take one reading, we wanna read it continually. So we'll set up a recursive loop. We need to assign the different outcomes. I've gone ahead and created five different envelopes, receipts, for zero, three, five, seven, and nine. And it added a comment block to each one, describing the, the level of the airplane and the tilt sensor. And for each of these, you could have a different set of actions. You could code. You maybe to have the motor go at a certain speed, for a certain length of time, or sounds, or whatever you so desire. I encourage you to try it out. Include the tilt sensor in some of your, your builds, and then experiment with the programming blocks and see what you can do. Sure, you can have a lot of fun using the tilt sensor in the WeDo 2.0 corset.